Well, this morning, the European Union voted to open its border to certain countries, but the U.S. didn't make the cut. ABC's Julia McFarlane has the details. The list of safe countries that will be allowed entry into the EU has been drawn up by the European Council, made up of all the heads of the government for the 27 member states. After several delays, the group finally adopted this advisory list of who may enter Europe when it lifts its lockdown tomorrow on July 1st. The countries who may visit include Australia, Canada, Japan, South Korea and a handful of small countries such as Montenegro, Serbia and Rwanda. Perhaps surprisingly, the list tentatively includes China, despite the communist nation being the global epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic and being criticized for not sharing news of their outbreak more quickly and widely. But China's admittance depends on mutual reciprocity and the Chinese haven't yet said if they will allow Europeans to travel there. One nation not on the list, the U.S., which is seeing a record-breaking resurgence of infections and where President Trump has encouraged large gatherings and has ridiculed those who wear masks or facial coverings. Also out in the cold, Russia and Brazil. Earlier this week, the World Health Organization announced the global number of cases had reached 10 million, with those three countries making up the majority of infections. And as for Americans hoping to take that long-awaited holiday in Europe, the list of countries is to be reviewed every two weeks. And if the U.S. meets the EU's criteria, namely matching the EU average for new cases and acceptable domestic containment measures, the ban may be lifted in the near future. Julia McFarlane, ABC News, London.